everyone, welcome to the last plant pot video in this series. The next one will be for the background. So we have our little trailing plant. I love this little one, it's so cute. Um, it's very similar to this one, we can see some of it here. Um, I need to make sure I do it different colours. I'm really tempted to do it the same colour because it's my favourite cut green. Oh, I'm really cold, but um, I won't. <laughs> So let's choose some colours. Um, yeah, let's do this combo. I like this combination of colours. Um, this is the juniper green. Okay, we're using Faber Castell polychromos. I often forget to tell you in this um, series as to which I'm using, but it should be always in the description. So just giving it a bit of a sharpen. We're going to do the um, base of each of these in this colour. I haven't decided what colour I'm doing the pot. Obviously blue. Should we do the pot orange? <laughs> no? Okay then. You could. That would be, I dare you. <laughs> do all your pots blue and one orange. Oh, that would drive me crazy. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm trying to just darken up actually these bases. I want quite a... The last one we did yesterday, you can't see. Um, I didn't quite get the contrast enough between the two colours so I want to make sure I do that this time I want to see that that base is really dark it's gone over all cloudy I need to go out I don't want to go out if it's pouring with rain I don't mind being out in the rain um, we have to get used to it in the UK it rains a lot but um, I've got a lot of stuff to take into town I'm taking a few bits, bags of bits to the charity shop so uh, I uh, don't really want it to get wet, um, so we'll see. If it rains, I guess I'll just have to stay in and do more colouring. <gasps> oh dear, what a hardship. <laughs> I haven't had any work for quite a long time, the freelance writing stuff. I think it's tricky. Um, I um, The websites I write for have affiliate links in for people to buy things, and people in the UK aren't really spending money at the moment. This is earth green. This is like a grey green. I'm going to just finish off. I'm going to go over that, try and blend it in, but I still want to make sure it sort of fades to the end. So I'm not going to push down too hard as I get towards the end of each petal because I want it to leaf. Sorry, I want it to look lighter. Yeah, it's, it's tricky here. Um, they've been talking about there being no economic growth here for next year. People aren't going to be spending very much money, etc. Um, I think they obviously haven't looked at the sales of colouring books and pencils. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, my customers, um, as I call them, um, clients I suppose they are, who need me to write content for their websites so that they can um, try and get people to spend money on various different things that they link to, um, haven't really got enough customers what they have to do is they have to make enough money so they can pay me to write some more to make some more money to pay me you know so they're finding sales are low they um, haven't got enough money to give me any work which is fine because it means I've got more time to color and to make videos which is nice but um, it uh, so it frees me up and I'm really hoping that continues to be quite honest um, the lack of work, not the lack of economic growth. I don't know if that's a bad thing. I'm not. It probably is. I don't know. Um, because it means that I can uh, watch um, Wimbledon <laughs> when it comes and uh, have plenty of time to keep making videos. Helio Turquoise. Oh, that was blurred, wasn't it? There you go. Hopefully that's okay. And I'm going to do the top of the pot. It's a little tricky to see with all these details, but uh, doing the leaves first has helped me to work out what's pot and what's stem and what's leaf so to putting down more layers near the edge and a little less in the middle I'm just going to work out that until it looks okay to me I think sometimes it can be very tempting when you're colouring to um, just put some colour down then finish and then go to the next colour I try to remember sometimes I'm impatient myself to like I've done that I'm going to just look back and think well is that okay well no I've got a little gap here 
and it's not dark enough compared to that. So then go back over it again. You know, build that colour up a little bit. You can obviously um, sometimes will combine several colours as well. But even if you're just using the one colour, spend a little bit of time just making sure it looks how you want it. Now we've got the main pot. Now this is the main bulk of the colour, our very last bit of blue. Hmm, what colour should we do? I'm thinking this one. Gosh, I'm going to have to get a cardigan in a minute. It's called Cobalt Turquoise I'm going to use. I'm going to start on this side because it's easier. We've got all this blah, 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 blah going on over there. That's an official term, by the way. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I was seeing that um, Johanna Basford was um, posting on Instagram, which is quite fun the other day. She's been posting a lot of things like handstands and <laughs> rock climbing and things like that. But she did say that the reason she is still drawing but she isn't allowed to show us what she's doing so she's having to post other things instead which I think is fair enough I think her publishers get a bit cross if she reveals too much of her book too early I don't really know why because surely if we see it we're going to get more excited but uh, you know I don't know but uh, so there we are now this bugs me a little bit because this line here isn't level with those two but um and that make that line that pot goes down below the um the shelf see that shelf that yeah anyway it's uh, it is what it is so i'm just going to darken that and that these two colors look really quite similar but what i'm going to do a little bit of shadow in. Going to use our dark indigo again. It's a nice dark colour for shadows and it isn't quite black. It's got a bluey tone in it which helps with our pots. A bit of shadow under that bit. And I'm not going to do it with that one because that doesn't line up with that. It's I'm just going to leave it. Um, and I think that's going to be it for that one. It's quite a quick one because it's quite a simple design. I'm going to leave it there and tomorrow will be much more um, tomorrow's background will be interesting I'm not going to do the whole thing for you I'm going to start you off because it's a whole page it's a lot of work but I've got a plan so we'll see if it works Hoo -hoo, wish me luck <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching today as I say um, do subscribe and then you'll get a, uh, get a notification when tomorrow's comes out or whenever I release a new video I think you have to hit the bell and select how many times you want notifications um, for that I'm not sure um, I haven't done it for ages so I <laughs> can't remember but uh, if you um, if you do that then it also it also helps support the channel. Um, YouTube um, will show this video to more people if it gains subscribers. So it just means that more people get shown colouring things and hopefully more people colour, which is really lovely. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And as I say, tune in tomorrow for the background. So happy colouring.